Hello guys, welcome back to some more God of War Chains of Olympus. In the last episode, we began making our way out to the depths of Tartarus out of imprisonment. And this episode now, we're now going to make our way fully out to the underworld and hopefully catch up with Charon. Charon may have won the last fight, but hopefully today we'll catch up with Charon and hopefully take him out this time. Depending how long this episode takes, maybe we'll take on Charon in this episode will remain to be seen. I might leave it for the next episode, maybe. I don't know, but I think... Depending how this episode goes with time, I might actually fight Charon in this episode. I don't know. We'll wait and see how things go. I might decide to save the Charon fight for the next episode. I don't know yet. Oh, watch out for that. Okay, this is one big... He's got armor on him as well, so I think... If we use heavy attacks in that, we should buy a lot of his armor. There you go. As you can see, the armor's breaking off every time I do a heavy attack. There we go. Now the armor's off. We can then... Just not attack him, but what I am going to do actually quickly is get some ma magic attack in. Some damage. Yeah, that's a nice amount of damage, hopefully. This is one big brute, alright. Let's get heavy attack in, but I've got. There we go. This should do Oh, dodge kill him. Bloody hell. That was a nice heavy attack there. Damn. But I wasn't expecting that to finish him off. I think that might be all of them. Yes, it is. I'm just going to break this one if I can. Unless I have to... Oh, hang That'll do it. So it's two D-tanks face. So which way do I take? Let's see, let's have a look. Which way? That looks like it might be the way to go. I'm going to quickly see what this one does. Oh, it does almost the same thing by the looks of it. Ah, oh, so we have to activate both these cranks to go to where we actually need to go. Alright then. So I'll take it away. We've got to go. Is up there. I just want to see what's over here quickly now. Oh no, we've already been around, haven't we? Oh yeah, of course we have. Well, we don't need to explore there then. We do that in the last episode. Ah! I just clumsily fell to my death. It's quite a big jump, actually, that. It's got break chains if we see any around it. Get more orbs out of it. We got any enemies to have? Yes, we do. Just go see what's in here quickly. If those guys want to come and take me on, come up to me, they're more than welcome to do so. Oh, they give me health, and that's all they do. As that's the case, I'm just going to grab these guys and just take them out. With these enemies, I don't ever feel intimidated when I see them. All I'm going to do is press up a button here and Kratos will just kill them like that. Literally as easy as that. So this like this is the way to go. Don't actually need any help. I might as well just take these guys anyway. They're getting tortured here anyway, so what's the difference if I did punch them? If they're torturing their gear, they're probably facing a lot worse than Kratos punching them with the gondola to Zeus right now. Kratos saw before him the remnants of the old rulers of Earth, the mighty Titans. Defeated by the gods and enchained in the depths of Tartarus, they suffered their unjust penance. And for their torment, it was well known that these immortal beings hated the Olympians with immeasurable fury. Poor guy. We'll get him out of there. I think it's safe to say this big titan's been down here long enough. I'm going up this way, can't I? But before I go down this way, I want to see what's along here quickly. Hmm. This looks interesting. Let's go see where this takes me. Hopefully there'll be something good behind here. Hmm. Okay. 
I saw there are two ways I can go then for this. Unless it ends here. Hmm. This is interesting. There is a chest here, so I'm going to quickly open that. Just orbs. Yeah, I'll take it. Better than nothing, I guess. Ah! I know where we are. So this is how I get in here. So there's a good job I did come this way first. Is it just orbs in these? Damn. Alright. Fair enough. I'm going to quickly have a look at my orbs in a minute. I'm just going to quickly see if I can upgrade my gauntlet as Zeus a bit more. Yes, I can. I'm going to go upgrade, actually, because I really do enjoy using this at the moment. Olympic Strike, Olympic Strike in the air, Hermes Cross, and Hermes Revenge. I think that's all I can upgrade for the time being. Yeah, it is. Okay, do smash upgrade my gauntlet of Zeus a little bit. Get us a little bit more powerful, unlocking new abilities with it. Definitely take that. Okay, I'm going to get Gauntlet to smash this. See, when these enemies are taken out, these cranks are going to come up. Oh, Captain, not rolling the right way then. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's dead. This is going to take a little while to take these guys out. I think it might take like two or three shots of these to finish them off. Eventually. There should have been a much quicker way to do this. This is where I wanted to do it for some reason. There we go. I'm hoping that's all of them. Hmm, a chest. Yeah, I'm going to quickly open that. Since that looks like that's all this, all that crank does. So it's like up here, we're getting closer to Titan. Looks like I said my progress up here as well. I'm not going to end this episode off just yet. I'm going to continue this for a bit longer. Let's see if we can free that Titan while we're here. Quite an open space we got around here. This thing really does pack a punch out now, but I graded it. For the boring areas, I'm just going to run up to them and just take them out with the circle button. Since that's such an easy way to finish them off. Okay, let's so all the bro Okay, there's one more here. Finish this one off. Get rid of all these guys. It'll be lovely to me to focus my attacks on these fellas. Doesn't take much of a punch to finish those guys off either. Get rid of the Boron Arrows. They're easily the weakest enemies in the game. Probably in the whole God of War series, just because you're going to have all I'm doing is press the circle button to finish most of them off. Okay, got those chains moving a bit, but that's it for the moment. Sure, see if there's anything over here. I don't think there is anything over there. So now I've done that. What now? Ah, it's quite up here, don't I? Now we've got to break these chains, I believe, if we're to free that Titan.
pick up some health. Please be a Gorgon or a Phoenix Feather in here or something. No, just orbs. Why do I feel like I've upgraded all my magic and health to maximum? It's been a while. Come across a few chests on this episode, none of them have offered me Phoenix Feather or Gorgon eyes. The Titan is almost free. Don't worry, bud. We'll get you out of there. Just bear with me. By the hands of Zeus, the Titans had been bound and shackled in their torment for a thousand years, with no hope of escape. Now the chains that once held the Titan Atlas lay broken, and only one question plagued the thoughts of Kratos. Who would release such evil? Who could release such evil, indeed? Lisa Titan is now free. Oh, get off me. Oh, I was going to try and slide past that guy, but it wasn't going to work. So I can say our progress here as well, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh-oh. So the more we move this crank, the more birds are going to appear. Lucky us. If there's only birds, what I've got to do is press the circle bar on the room, which is Kratos will just take them out, just rip their wings off. Ah. Uh, maybe it's not just birds we're going to do with. them gone. Oops, come here. Same thing again. We're going to get enemies to do it. Oh, this guy's got a shield. But I'm going to have to get this. Oh. Okay, we've got tough frames to do it right now. If I can charge up the attack, we can do more damage that way. There we go. We're probably going to get a few more enemies like that as we go further along here, but if I could charge up the Gone Lizards, we'll have no problem destroying those shields. There's my next victim. Just get rid of these birds first and may as well. Okay, that's a shield gone, so now I've got to finish this guy off quickly. Kick him off. Oh, that did it. That actually worked. Let's break this. This could be my way out of the depths of Tartarus. That's all blood down there. Imagine how many victims are down here, all getting tortured and all of that being their blood. Ugh. A lot of people have pissed off the gods over the years by the looks of it. We 
we're almost out of the depths of Tartarus. So Charon is going to be just up ahead. Oh, I think I know where we are. Oh, I've got some chests here. Definitely going to open these up. That's where we were a few, a few episodes, like two episodes ago, back there. Got some orbs, very nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly upgrade my... If I can, if I've got enough orbs. The corn litter, let's upgrade it one more time. Because this, this is going to be a very handy weapon for when we take on Charon again. Lightning run, lightning thrash, lightning surge, lightning thrash in the air as well. Olympic thunder, Olympic thunder in the air. Nice amount of moves there. Okay, that's now its maximum capabilities. Oh, we're in this room again. Oh, I can use this to take this thing out. But of course, as we go in here, we've got more of these enemies to deal with. So we can start to destroy that. So now we need to do is destroy this one. Okay, that's that destroyed. So with them destroyed, it's going to take it, make it a lot easier for me to take these guys out. One down. Now I've got to take this one out. Oh, he's dead. All right, fair enough. Till this corner is really is a powerhouse. I remember this place. So here we're going to bump into Charon once again, and we're going to take him on once again. I've got a new weapon to help me out this time. Since we're doing quite well with Thomas episode, let's go take on Charon. of Tartarus would not hold Atlas, and they would not hold me either. The gods have obviously taken pity on their slaves. You underestimate me, Charon. This time I will not be so merciful. Nah, not this time. Now I've got a new weapon on me. She's got a moment to block, though. This is going to pack a punch this fella. Pretty much the same boss fight, pretty much the same thing, but obviously... With the attack that took us out last time, we're going to use that to take out those pillars. So he won't have the higher ground on me this time. If we take those pillars out in time, he won't be able to unleash his big attack on me. Oof. Got one of those things fired back at him. Just going to keep punching him with this. When he does it, I'm going to make sure I've gone with this so I'll get plenty of time to block. And just fire the Freddy's things back at him. Wrong. Not this one. Now we'll destroy those pillars quickly. Before he can unleash his powerful attack. Gats one taken out. Okay, so now he knows. His killing blow is not going to work as well this time. Okay, what the hell was that? Okay, that was a nice attack he had there. He's just done it again. Okay, should have a lot of my health as well. These will get a bit of health though, every time I take one of those pillars out. Oh, wow, that block actually worked. Didn't it? I didn't see any damage get taken from me then. Okay, doing a nice amount of damage so far. Oh. All three pillars destroyed. He ain't going to be going up there again. Charon knows he's in a bit of a fight now. He 
he's down, I think. Okay, so what do I do now? Do I jump up here? Ah, oh, what's this? Yeah, and he's back again. Ah. Okay, this will do that. So this will go do to finish Sharon off. Defeated Charon, Kratos journeyed deeper into Hades and closer to his goal. For in the distance, the bright light of Helios illuminated all of the underworld. But something on the shore caught his attention. And to Kratos, it almost seemed an apparition. Calliope! Upon seeing his daughter, Kratos realized that all that he had been working for, all that he had wanted, was within reach. Years of service to the gods had not delivered him from his pain, never had it eased the burden of his past. And now, Calliope was found. Calliope! By Charon's Wrath. A new ability. I like the sound of this. Transfer. For holding R1, press circle to activate Charon's Wrath. Aiming while Charon's Wrath while holding R1 and circle is less sick target enemies. Alright. Hmm, I like the look of this. This is the reward we get for defeating Charon. So far, it's looking like quite a nice reward. And of course, my favourite music ever in Gold of War is playing right now as we do this fight. Oh, I failed to do that, damn it. See, I'm not going to bother you, I'm just going to finish this fella off. Is that all of them? Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay, so down here I should be able to save my progress somewhere. Yes. Okay, so I think as we've defeated Char in this episode and we've managed to make our way out to the underworld, I think this would be a great time to end this episode. So I'm going to quickly get some health though. So it looks like Kratos is sort of a Calliope in this area, unless it's just Kratos and magic things, but. So in the next episode, we're going to make our way inside there and we're going to hopefully catch up with Kratos' daughter, Calliope. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. We'll give up to the God of War Chains of Olympus episodes over to my channel. And next episode, we'll try and make our way into that building and hopefully catch up with Calliope. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. This is GoldieX and I'm out.